Welcome to the last Sunday in October. Now, next week is Halloween. So you need to plan your costume or whatever you're gonna do, even if you don't get to go anywhere or do anything, why not have some fun with it, you guys? Have some fun with it. It's Halloween. Now, I have a question for you. Is it just me or has this year gone by, even though we've got all kinds of stuff going on this year, has it gone by fast? It's gone by kind of fast, I think. So we have two months, hey, Kristen. We have two months left, two months, two months left of this year. So, you know, make the best of it, you guys. Let's make the best of it. Hey, Rebecca. All right, girl. So we are going to get going in just a minute. Here's what you need. You need all the weights, all the weights, and you need your loop band because we are going to use that later on. And I'm going to throw it back here. Happy Halloween, Beck. <laughs> Rebecca, are you going to dress up like a personal trainer for Halloween? <laughs> I do that every year. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. Here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our stretch. We're going to go with, right into shoulders. So this year. Okay, this year. This. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. This workout. We need to start out with the light weights, all right? So we're going to stretch out. We're going to grab all the light weights, and we're going to get going. So let's do it. Come on. And if you're just sitting and watching, get off your butt and pick something up and use it. Let's go. I got the music right here. Oh, I got to start it. Here we go. Denise is in. Let's get going, guys. All right, so a little stretch out to begin. So just roll your shoulders. Open up your chest. Oh, my gosh, that feels great already. Place your fingers, press it down, open it up. Kiko, yeah! Woohoo! Ha! <laughs> Happy Sunday. All right, guys, take shoulder across. Should feel pretty good right now. Because we're just getting moving. I don't know what you've been doing this weekend, but right now I know what you're going to be doing. It's time to work. All right, reach up, switch elbows. We're just doing a quick stretch, just a quick one. Awesome. All right, get the other arm across. Ah, oh, it feels really good. This, this shoulder needs stretching more than that one. I don't know what I was doing, but it does. Do one more, open up, roll them back. Now, arms big rolls, big rolls. Thumbs behind you. Open up and close, open and close. We got a lot of shoulder and chest work today, a lot of back work coming up. So round your back. We're gonna roll from one side, so grab your right arm and pull it down towards your left toes. Awesome. All right, just roll the other way, slow, easy. Switch arms, pull. Oh yeah, come back to the middle, round it. All right, get your forearms, put your forearms right on top of your thigh. Come forward with a flat back. So see if you can flatten up your back. Pull your belly in and feel that stretch. Now lift your chest a little bit, not your head, not your face. All right, come on down. We're going to the floor. Push your hips up. Roll down. Feel your low back stretch. Now go to your right foot. Push up over. And let's go the other direction. Breathe and stretch. All right. Take a slow roll up. Just slowly roll it up. All right. Take fingers, including your thumb, to your wrist. Stretch it out. I'm checking out as you guys are messaging me. All right. Woo. Make a fist pull. All right. Good. This feels great. Flip it over. And switch hands. Other hand up. Oh yeah, make a little fist. Pull, stretch the wrist and forearms, you guys. You guys stretch that too, right? Let's flip it over, pull back. Everything's stretching here. Now I want you to take your hands right on your low back and I want you to push your hips just a little bit forward, but not a lot and just kind of lift your chest up without lifting your head up, all right? Pull your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades, see what that feels like. 
and then roll one more time. It's time to get started. So I want you to grab your lightest shoulder weight because we're gonna do palms down with a thumb twist, right? And palms down with a thumb twist to begin and then get another weight level or two to go up, all right? So I'm just gonna start with six today, right? Because that thumb up twist is a little tough, right? So start with your feet on your hips. Get your water, do you have your water in your body? I hope you do, roll your shoulders. Squeeze your low back, squeeze your upper back. Slide everything down and pull your abs in tight. Your biggest thing to remember here is that your core, your abs and your legs are helping to support your body. They're doing half the work for you, so let that happen, all right? So first off, we start with palms down to thumbs up in the front, one to the front, one to the side. Here we go. Going up, twist, and down to the side. Same thing. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, and down. Lock your abs in. Roll your shoulders if you need to. Every time you need a little break, you take one. You lift, twist, lift, and down. One, two, three, and down. Good. How's that feel already, right? Try not to go any higher than your shoulder and chest level right there. Because higher is not better. All that does right now in this particular move is going to pinch your joints, which you don't want to do. How tight are your abs? Tighten them up even more. Good. Up, twist, down, down. How tight are your abs? Tighten them up. Oh, breathe. Keep it going, keep it going. One, two, three, and down. Do you think we should be halfway through it by now? Well, we are. This is the halfway point. We're going up, twist, down, and down. To the side. To the front. One, two, three, and four. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I hate to do this by myself. I love it when you're doing it with me. You know, misery loves company. Although I love this, it makes you feel great. Three to go, people, let's do them. To the side. Two more times. To the side. Get heavy. It is. Last one. Breathe. Woo, put them down. Time to pick up something heavier. All right, I'm turning my fan on. We are going overhead, guys. So get yourself something a little heavier, right? You can go up one or two weight levels, your choice. I'll go up two. All right. So we start, same position. Feet in the under hips where you need them. Bend your legs a little. Lock your abs a lot. Bring your waist to the middle. We're going to take a toe back if you need it. All right, straight up we go. Up, up. Elbows line up with shoulders every single time. Right there. So if you're dropping your elbows, pay attention. Get them forward. Don't drop them. Three more. Two, push hard. One, step out, let's go. To the side, push your weights together at the top. Long arms, let's go. Up and down, up and down. Bend your legs a little. And if you're standing on one leg with one toe back, make sure it's not your whole foot. Good. Four more. Four, elbows in line with shoulder. Pull them back a little bit if you want. Two. One, now stop here and let's give it an eight time. Pulse, seven, six, four, three, two, one. You want to bring it down? That's all right, let's do it. Now I want you to tilt forward, so sit back a little bit. Take your chest over the floor and your head. Keep your face with you. We're going to do flies and rear delts. Start with the fly. Out we go. Spread your wings. 
a light, light weight fly. So this is not super heavy yet. Just the light shoulder weight to start with. Get that blood pumping. Four to go. Breathe, there's four. Three. Two. Now, turn it to a rear delt. So we're gonna take the weights facing our legs, elbows come out and behind a little bit. Here we go. Pull, push, pull, push. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe out. Keep going. You got four more to go. You should feel your elbows going just a little bit behind you, just slightly. One more. Good. Now, set the weights down. Go back to your super lightweight. Oh. All right, we're back to the lightweight. Thumbs up forward and to the side. Bend your leg. Let's go. Going up and down. Other side to the waist. To the side, to the front. Here we go. Keep those weights at shoulder level only, no higher. Good. Now, this feels a little bit light for me. But I'm going to stick with it because I know what's coming. Woo! Four more times. Four. Three more. Three. Two. That's one. Palms down. Keep going. Same thing. Let's go. Palms down here. Palms down here. So when you're pulling your arms to the sides, make sure they're going to the side, not forward, right? There. Some people go into these. Go straight forward and straight out to the sides. Work those little muscles. Come on. Woo! Anytime you need to drop your weight, get lighter weight or just put it down and make some fists. You will still be working. Lock your abs in. Come on, come on. Use your air. Four more. I know. Here's four. Woo. Here's three. How you doing, Kiko? Woo. We got one more, Denise. Done and done. Set them down. All right, that should have been a good shoulder burn. Shake it off. Roll it, get some water. Let's go down to the floor and do some heavy chest. So, we are doing, for your chest press, a regular chest press into a fly. So you will need three weight levels, but you don't quite need to go as heavy as you would if you were doing the heaviest chest press, right? So I'm gonna go 12, 15, and 20, because you have two sets of everything in a row without stopping, all right? And flies, I don't want you to be um, having weight so heavy that it pulls your arms out, all right? You control it. Come on down, leave me on the floor. I got my weights all set. All right, woo! We're gonna start with the lightweight, then go to the mid-range, and then go to the heavy, all right? So grab your lightweights. All right, whatever weight levels you're using is fine. I do want you to think about this. You gotta challenge yourself no matter what you're doing, right? Denise and I are trying to find a place that we can get her some more dumbbells because she needs heavier weight, right? But there's so many places sold out. We're still trying to find them. If we do, we'll let you know. Roll your hips up. Starting with your chest press, you're gonna start with palms facing out, ends of your weight together. You're gonna pull your elbows down to the floor. Now, push your shoulders away from your jaw and make sure you have an angle from your elbow. Up here, push it down. Let's go singles, here we go. Push it, pull it. Push it together, pull it apart, good. A regular chest press with your light weight. Lock it in with those abs. So if you don't think your abs are tight enough, just roll your hips up a little bit and tuck them in. Long arms at the top. Yeah. Seven to go. Here's six. Five. Four. Good. Two more, please. 
please. But don't put this weight down. Stop at the top. Put your weights palms facing in, right there. Keep them in the same spot, so don't raise them up here. Keep shoulders down. Now we're gonna fly. We're going out and in. Nice and slow. Out and in. I want it to be a little slower because you're doing a fly, yes? And you gotta control your stopping point. And you gotta keep your shoulders down and your abs tight. Out, out, in, in. Keep going. So, if you think it's pulling you off the floor, just tuck your abs in tighter, right? And make sure you don't feel this in your shoulders. It's not shoulder work, right? There. Keep it in the chest, the pecs, and the abs. Out, out, and you can go about three quarters of the way down to the floor on this light weight here. So make your wings, spread your wings. Yeah. Stay with it, gang. Come on, we're, we're a little more than halfway. Take a breath and breathe it all out. Inhale, exhale. All right, I got five more. Nice and easy. Four. Three. Should feel pretty good. Two more. Last one, guys. All right, bring your elbows straight into your sides. Put your weights down and sit up. Now, we're gonna put these weights out of the way for now. And you're going to your next weight level up. For me, that's going to be 15, and once you get them, roll down. We're going to start with the chest press, and then do the flies again. Less reps this time. Roll down, lock your hips up. Start with your weights, end to end, palms facing away from you, shoulders down, elbows coming to the bottom. Get that angle from shoulder to elbow. Lock your hips and your abs. Let's go. Up and down. All the way up, lock your arms at the, don't lock them, straighten your arms at the top. Keep going. Use your chest to push. Squeeze your abs in. Three, two, one more, one more. Stop here. Put your palms facing in. You're gonna do your flies. All right, here we go, out. Out, squeeze everything into the floor here. Out, two, squeeze. Lock it up, guys. Take it out, out, squeeze it together, you guys. Out, two, in, two. Do you feel your abs catch you right there? Let them, let them hold you. Let them do the work. So, try to go about three quarters of the way open. If less is better, go less. Do not hurt yourself. Be safe. Yeah. Four more is all you got. Make sure you're breathing. So inhale here. Exhale here. Give me one more. And stop. Weights come in and down, sit up. Gotta go, gotta go big or go home, right? Let's go the heavy weight. Oh wait, we are home. I guess we gotta go big, cause we're home, yeah? So roll it down. This is your heaviest weight. You only have eight reps of everything. Roll down. Lock those hips up and down again. Haul your weights to the top. Chest press, weights end to end. Push your shoulders down. Now pull your elbows down. And let's go slow, up two. Take it up, up, pull it down and apart. So push it together, long arms, pull it apart and down to the bottom. Up, two, halfway on this one. Four more. How tight are your abs? I know I'm always saying that, but check it. Two to go. You should start to feel your pecs, your upper chest. Stop at the top. Weights end to end. Let's go into the fly. A slow fly. Let's go now. Out, 
two. Now, I don't want you to go three quarters of the way if this weight is too heavy. Yeah? Go where it goes to be comfortable, but work. Challenge yourself, but don't hurt yourself. Here's number four coming up. Number four coming up. Four to go, you guys. Here we go. Out, two, in, two. Three more. I know. Last one. Bring your elbows in. Slowly sit down. Or sit up. We're already sitting down. Push your weights away from you. Woo! Good job. Open up your chest. Lace your fingers. Ah, oh, yeah. That was good work. I'm going to grab water. You do the same. Here's what you need to do. We want to get back work going. So you're going to need two sets of weights. A medium and a light. And then you'll need one heavy weight. All right? Here we go. Roll it up. So you need a medium, a heavy, and a light. Well, in whatever order you grab them, right? So we're going to do one arm flies and one arm rows. And then we're going to do a set of double arm flies. If we can. <laughs> We've got it left within us. We'll do that. All right. Um, so, if you do not have a chair or a bench, what you can do is sit back here like this, so you're here, and you're going to take one weight, and we're going to fly first. You're going to wrap one arm fly first, and then we're going to switch arms and do the same thing, and then a one arm row, and then we're going to switch and do the same thing, okay? All right, good. We'll have two different types of rows after the flies. So, grab... One of each weight level. I'm gonna use this bench, so let me pull it forward here. Hang on. Ooh. All right. So, two weight levels. That's all you need for now. And one, the one you can use the heavy weight because you might want to go to a heavier weight on the row. Okay. So I'm gonna get one of each weight level. So two weight levels and one heavy weight for later. Okay, so start with your right arm. And I want you to start with the heavy weight that you have for your fly. So that would be your mid-range row weight. So I've got 12, 15, and 20. I'm going to use the 15 for my heavy one-arm fly weight. All right? All right. So get yourself in a nice flat back position. Even if you're here, one, one hand on your leg, you're just going to throw the weight out and back in. But when you pull it out, I want you to pull slightly back. Remember, not too far back. All right, we have eight reps with this weight level. Lock your abs, bend your knee in front, and let's go. We're going out and in. Out and in. Flatten out your back, guys. No rounded shoulders. Four more. Four. This is heavy for this. Three. Two. One. Put it down. Pick up your lighter weight. So I've got a lighter weight for mine, and it's 12, all right? Still doing one arm flies. Get in place. Still the same arm. Don't switch arms. And let's go. We've got 12 reps. Out and in. Lock those abs. Good. That's four down. Here's halfway and six. Give me six. Five. Let it burn in the back. Four. Three. Come on. Two. One. Put that weight down. Turn around. Let's do the other arm. So if you're standing with your legs bent on both feet, switch hands. If you're on your chair or your bench, switch knees. Pick up your heavy weight to begin. One arm flies. Remember what your back flat. Abs tight. Tilt. Eight reps. Here we go. Heavy. Eight. Bend that front leg a little bit. Four more, guys. Four. Three. Ooh. Two. One. Down it goes. I'm going to get the lighter weight. Give yourself a 
up a little breather in between. Grab your light weight. Come on. 12 flies. I got a 12 pound weight for 12 flies. Let's go. Out and in. Keep your back flat. Here's number six. That's halfway through. Here's six. Five. Here's four. Lock those abs, guys. Done. Set them down. Switch sides. We're going into our one-arm rows. Woo! Yeah, I know. I want your heart rate to come down a little bit right there. Let it come down. Now we're going to start with a heavy weight for the one-arm rows. I'm going to start with 20 for this. You can do whatever you want. But you have three weight levels. Remember, for the one-arm rows, there's three weight levels, not two, like for the flies. So, if you don't have something pretty heavy, just use the mid-range weight twice. That's okay to do, okay? So, we're doing a straight back row, and we're going to do five reps with the heavy weight. So, pick it up. Flatten out your back, lock your abs in, bend your legs a little bit, and get ready for a row straight back, shoulders back. Don't let your shoulder drop. Here's five. Stop at the knee there. Three, two, one more. Stop here. Turn your palm and go to the side. We've got wide rows, five reps. Here we go. Five. Lock the abs. Woo. Three. Two, one more, one more. Done with that weight, set it down. Go down to your mid-range weight. Give yourself a little breather. I like your heart rate to come down a little bit first, right? Because I like to work this in intervals, it's more effective. Yeah. Oh, it's getting dark already outside. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, all right. You start with a straight back row, flatten out your back, shoulder brown back and down. Straight back row, let's go. Eight, seven, six, pull hard. Three more. Walk those abs. Two, one. Turn your palm in to the front of your leg. Reset your shoulder. Let's go to the side. Wide row, up and down. Stop at your knee. Don't reach for your weight. Good. Here's four. Three, two, one. Put it down. Go down. Go down to your light weight. Oh, one more set to go on this arm. Yes, you can. All right, we're going light weight. Starting with the straight back rows, twelve reps. All right, get ready. Here we go. Straight back row. Always keep your shoulder pulled back and down, and keep not. Don't reach for your weight. Stop at your knee every time. Keep your wrist as straight as you can. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Turn your palm to the front. Towards your leg. Wide row. Here we go. Out and down. Ooh, hard pull. Come on. Woo! The tighter your abs are, the more help you get. Come on. Five to go, guys. That's all. Four. Three. Two. Done. Woo! Stand up. Shake it off. We're going to the other side. I got to move all my weights. They're in my way. Woo! Take a breath. Reset, get a drink if you want, we're going to the other arm. All right, first thing you have, heavy weight, a straight back row into a wide row. All right, so get your weights ready. Here's my heavy weight, it's ready to go, knees up. Now these weights are in the way. All right, flatten out your back. Always flatten out your back, roll your shoulder, round back and down into the shoulder socket. Five reps, heavy weight, let's go. Here's five, stop at the knee, four. One more, 
Turn your palm towards your leg. Wide row. Five. Four. Pull hard. Pull hard. Three. Two. Done with that one. We're going to put it down. We're going to our mid-range weight. Mine, I kicked mine out of the way, so it's way over here now. All right. Same thing. Flatten out your back. Eight reps. Both rows. Here we go. Eight. Keep that shoulder pulled back. Seven. Try not to reach to the floor with your weight and your shoulder, right? Two more. One more. Stop here. Turn your palm towards your leg. Wide row. Wide. Woo! You got four left. Come on, finish up. Four. Three. It's getting tough. Yes? Two. One. But there's that one. All right, we're going down to the lightweight. It's always nice to get the lightweight in last, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! It's the most reps, but after all the heavy weight, your heart rate's up and your body is in gear. So we're going to go flip gears and take it up a notch with more reps. All right. Shoulder around, back and down. Pull straight back and down. Pull. Yeah. Here's halfway. Give me six more. Same thing. Six. Woo! Here's four. Three. Two. One. Stop. Turn your palm to your leg. Reset your shoulder. Pull straight out. Let's go. Wide row. Woo! Keep breathing. Here's halfway. Six to go. Six to go. Six, five, four, build it up, three, two, done. Oh my God. Woo! How'd you do? Oh, give yourself a back stretch. Hug yourself. Hug yourself because you did so good. Oh, shake it off. Now I want you to just come down here like this and round your back to the ceiling. Now slowly roll it up and twist out. Twist out a little bit. Let yourself twist. Get water. Oh, you guys, nice work. Wow. All right. Triceps. Woo! You will need, what have I got down here? One heavy weight, because we're going to do your favorite hip bridges with the tricep extension. So grab a heavy weight, and you can hold it like this when you do that, because it goes straight up back, in, and down, right? And that goes right in timing with the hip bridge that we're gonna do with it, okay? So, I'm gonna get, I got a 20 pound weight for that. I'm gonna use that. You can use whatever you want. If you don't have a big weight, use two small weights with one in each hand, all right? Two smaller weights. And then for other tricep work, we have tricep blaster push-ups. I know, woohoo! And then we have a one-arm tricep crossover. Sort of like a block the sun, but it's on the floor, so it's across your chest, all right? Oh, man, let's do it. Hip bridges with triceps. Let me move my bench out of the way a little bit. Whew. I'm going to leave it there, though, because we are going to use the bench for biceps or the chair. All right, so I'm going to leave those there. And I'm going to grab, oh, I guess I don't need anything. There we go. This will work. I got my 20 pound weight here, and I got a 15 for crossovers. All right. Now, you don't have to use something extremely heavy, but the heavier the better, because we are working our triceps, you know, got to do it. All right, hip bridge with the tricep extension. So feet close to your butt, and you're gonna push the weight to the top as you lift your hips, right? And then you're going to bend into the extension, straight up and back down. I think my bench is in the way. I'm going to move it just a little bit. Woo. All right. Come on, move bench. Okay. Let's get rolling on this. Get your heels close to your butt. And make your hip bridge as high up as you can get it, okay? Tuck your elbows in. Here we go. Up, bend, up 
and down. Go again. Up, bend, up, and down. Lift. Bend your elbows. Now make sure your shoulders are not moving. Stay, your, stay in one place with your shoulders. Abs tight. Take it up. Back. Up and down. Take it up. Bend. Up and down. Only the thing bending is your only thing bending is your elbows. Right? The only thing moving here is your elbows. Bring it down to the floor. Bring it back up.
Yeah. Six to go, people. Here it is. Down, two, up, two. Five to go. Down, two, up, two. Four, three, four, Make sure you've got that 90 degrees right here. Three, two. I got one left. Stop at the top, grab your weight, bring it down. Woo, set it on the floor. All right, guys. Shake it off. Quick stretch. Woo. And I'm looking at the clock. It's time for biceps. I hope you felt your triceps on that. You can always do more later another set of last or push up you know all right so you will need one heavy one mid-range one lightweight a chair or a bench or a stool something to sit on because I don't want you to I don't want you to hold yourself up while you're doing heavy weight with bicep it's too hard all right because we're doing a cross a bent over crossover all right feel free to get water because I'm going to all right, after we finish these biceps, oh, get your band handy to put on your legs. All right. If you're ready, I'm ready. Denise, you're ready. Keep going. Everybody ready? All right, let's do it. We've got a heavy mid, a mid range and a light bicep weight. All right, there we are. All right, you're gonna sit here like this. I want your back flat, your shoulders nice and square, and you're gonna come forward without rounding your back. So, you're gonna pick up your heavy weight in your right hand, it's gonna be on the inside of your leg. So put your arm inside your leg, and if you have to lean a little bit more to get it supported, do it. And we're gonna come up with the palm up, palm to the ceiling, thumb towards the front. So watch, don't do this. Don't do the Pledge of Allegiance. Do your palm up, right? Do your palm up here. So I want that forearm twist right there. And we've got five reps with the heavy weight. So we're gonna start with that. I know why you always start with the heavy weight. Cause we can. All right, flatten out your back. Lock in your abs, cause they are gonna support that low back on these biceps. And you can support yourself by putting your hand under like this. All right? Five reps is all you have, let's go. Here's five, four, three, Two, hand if you need it, I'm doing it. Last one for the heavy weight, set it down. Shake it off. It doesn't seem like that much, but when we're done, you'll be have done two sets on each weight level with each arm, two sets. All right, go to the mid range. And we got the same thing going on. Palms facing up, let's go. You got eight and down. Seven, get that arm inside your leg. Lock your abs, four more. Four, three, look straight ahead of you on the floor. Good, set it down. Shake out your fingers, get the blood back into your hand, right? All right, lightweight, pick it up. Reset your body so your abs are tight and your shoulders are square, arm and side leg, palm up, let's go up and down. Come on, up and down, Woo! Here's halfway. Now you got six, five. You can always support yourself. Two more. Good. Woo! Shake that out. Wiggle your fingers, pull it back a little. And let's go to the other side. Same thing, arm inside the leg, palm is up. You gotta lean over a little bit to get that arm inside your leg. But that's a really important thing to do for your support of your body and to, and to focus on the biceps. You have two bicep muscles. Let's work them both. All right. Arm inside. Five reps. Heavy weight, guys. Here we go. Five. Palm up. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh. That was quick. How'd you do? Good. Good. Go to, go to your next weight level down. Shoulders square, chest, back flat, let's go. Eight, and down, seven, six. Come on, get that arm inside. 
three, two, done. Set it down. Oh, yeah. Woo. You just got to breathe. Shake it off. Lightweight is all we have left, and then we're going back over here for hammer curls, all right? All right, arm inside that leg. Make sure you are nice and square. It's really important to keep your body flat and square, your abs tight. Cool. Here we go. We're going up and down. Make sure your neck is lined up. Breathe. Here's halfway. Here's six. Five. Let it burn. Four. Three. One more, guys. Woo! All right, set it down. Oh. Here we go. Pull it back. Shake out your fingers. Now we switch back to the right side, and we're going this time hammer curl. So this time I want you to go thumbs up, and I want you to make sure you're going thumbs up because it's a completely different lift, okay? So we pick up the heavy weight. We do five reps again, hammer curls. Arm inside the leg, shoulders flat, back, square and flat. If you need to support yourself, you need to spot yourself, use your other hand, but stay inside your leg here. Lean over, five reps. There's five, four, it's harder, right? Three, two, one, down it goes. I know five reps is nothing, but you're, like, you're gonna notice it. All right, mid-range weight. Shoulders square, arm inside. Let's go. You got eight reps. Eight, seven, six, five. Spot yourself if you need to. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, that last one was difficult. Woo! Breathe. We're going to the next weight level. Thumb on the, on the end. That helps you do your uh, hammer curl better, baby. Hold your weight a little straighter with your wrist. Square it up, arm inside, flat back. Let's go. Take it up and down. Woo! Come on. You got eight left. So you got six left. You're six, five, four. I know it's heavy, even though it's not, right? Ugh. Done with that one. Oh, done with that arm. Pull it back. Shake your fingers out. Now, other side, hammer curls. We start with the heavy weight again. I gotta scoot that out of the way. Here we go. You only have five reps, but get set. Square up your shoulders, flatten out your back. Lock in your abs. Thumb goes straight up. Here we go. Five, four. Give me a long arm at the bottom. Three, two, one. Oh, I had to help myself there, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna scoot that weight over there. Woo! Mid range. Let's go on with it. You have eight reps. Arm inside, flat back. Let's go. Eight. Give me a full range of motion here. Seven. Open your arm all the way. Six. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One, it's getting difficult. It's getting increasingly difficult. Woo! Next weight level, 12 reps. Lightweight, last set. Make sure you do it good, guys. Tuck your arm in, open up your chest, open up your flat back, and here. You've got 12 reps, let's finish. Up and down. Come on. You should feel good, you've done it. Six more guys, six. You should be so proud of yourself. Four, three, come on, squeeze it. Last one, oh, take it away, woo! All right, get some water, stretch yourself out. We're going to the floor. People are sending me messages, woo! All right. So I'm going to move this bench out of the way, and we're going to go down to the floor, and I want you to get your band, your loop band, to put on your legs, right? Woo. All 
All right, I'm getting a drink. <sighs> All right, loop band. <coughs> loop band right, ab um, right above your knees. So I'll back up, put it on right here, right here, above your knees, not here. Here isn't gonna do you any good, right? We got some banded hip bridges. So we're gonna do, oh yeah, I know, right? All right. This is a breather, you need this breather. So try not to rush into this. When you're lifting, it's better not to rush into it. You know, don't rush into the next thing. Get your breath first. You'll be able to lift heavier for longer amounts of time. Working in intervals, it gets your heart better, heart rate better. Everything is better with intervals, yes? All right, here we go. Down on the floor, palms facing up, and I want you to lift your hip bridge. So lift up into your hip bridge. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, get your feet close to your butt, and push, push your hips up. All right, now, here's the, here's the clamshell. Squeeze your heels together, walk them together. Push up a little bit, support yourself here if you need to. But please keep your abs tight, pull your knees apart. And we're just gonna pulse the clamshell. We're gonna go pulse, out, out, out. Pulsing your knees apart, lifting your hips a little higher, squeeze your heels. Ah. Oh. Yeah, give me four more, just like that. Four, three, two, one. Now, walk your heels back where they were. Roll down for a second. Roll down for a second. We're gonna roll up and do one leg hip bridge. So roll yourself up, get comfortable. See if you can touch your shoes here with your fingertips, right? And then just put your palms out and squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep your front leg on the floor. Take your back leg up at 90 degrees. Push the door shut. Bring the knee back, push, shut, bring it back. Push, pull, push, pull, lock your abs. Yeah, there's four, come on. Three, push harder. Two, one, stay right here. Pulse from that bottom foot, pulse it. Is your other knee over your hip and your leg 90 degrees right at the top? Push, push, push. Whoa. All right, stop here, switch feet. Put the other foot down, close to your butt. Take that front leg up 90 degrees, knee over hip, push the door shut with your heel. So lock that heel, push, pull, push, lift higher. Feel your abs hold you up. Make that happen, your butt and your abs gotta work here. Give me two more. Stop here, push from the bottom foot. Let's go up, up. Push it harder. Come on, come on, come on. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ooh, put your foot down, roll yourself down. Hug your knees. Ah. Oh, you'll need that knee hug because we're going into hover planks, right? So take your band off. That's all we're gonna use our band for. Seriously. You can leave it on for hover place if you want, but I'm not. So we're gonna start with a hover, forearms, and walk up to a plank and then walk down, down, down to a hover. Try some on your toes. And if you need to go back to knees, I'll go to knees once we walk through this too, right? So here we go. Start with your hover. Forearms, I'm gonna use my towel so I don't slide everywhere. All right, I'll go sideways here. Just a little, forearms. Now, if you are on your knees, oh, I better go long, sorry, I'm running out of space here. Forearms here, get your feet a little wider than your hips, then curl your toes under, and squeeze your knees up into the back of your legs, right there, hold tight. Flatten out your body, pull your chest forward over your arms. And we're gonna walk right, left, and back down. Down, now left side. Left, right, down, 
down, right, left, right, left, right, left. Take it up, left, left, right. If you're on your knees, it's the same thing, just like this. Then left, right, left, left. Two more. Up, up, down, down. Other side, alternating sides. Last one. And switch sides. Hold it, drop knees. Awesome. You guys ready to stretch yet? Oh, I feel like we worked our core a lot because you've got to engage that core for everything you did today, especially the one arm rows and flies. It's a really good core work thing to do. So for now, give yourself a child's pose. Woo. Sit back, reach your arms out long, and push your heels back to your hips. Reach it out. Ah, oh, feels great. All right, I want you to take your left hand slightly back, right hand over towards the left side. Now, push the whole right side of your body over to the right, and draw the right hip back a little longer, a little farther. Feel that stretch all the way up and down the side of your body. On the right. Good. Now bend that elbow. Put your fingertips on your back. Press your tricep into the floor. And breathe. The most important aspect here is your breath. So do it. Awesome. Come back, switching arms. Left arm goes across. Take the left side of your body over to the left and sit back. See if you can push your left hip back a little farther as you go. And breathe. Now, same arm. Just bend it. Triceps pressing down to the floor. Awesome. All right, come on up to all fours. Round your back. Drop your head, shake it out. Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it, no, shake it, yes. Anything you want. Awesome, now come all the way to the floor. We're gonna stretch shoulders and chest. So come on down, extend your left arm straight out, and then just roll the other direction, relaxing your legs, reach up with the right arm. Feel the shoulders stretching on the floor there, the left arm, shoulder stretch. Remember, you're breathing and relaxing into this. All right, slowly come back to the center. Leave your left arm where it is. Bend it 90 degrees. Walk it up an inch. And just open up. Open that chest. Now, as you feel this more in your armpits, in your pecs, upper chest, on that left side. All right, we're going to switch arms. Extend the right arm, spread your fingers out, and just roll the other way. Feel the shoulder stretch here as you relax your legs. Breathe. You can lift up the other arm. Make sure you're stretching that shoulder that's on the floor. Alright, come on back to the middle. Leave your right arm there. 
bend it 90 degrees, walk it up an inch, right there, and just turn away from it. So I want you to feel that in your pecs, your armpit, your upper chest. Roll yourself away from it enough to get it stretching. You can even just lift your upper body a little bit if you want. Oh, deep breath. All right, roll to the middle and just come up either from the forearms here or from your hands. Push yourself all the way up. Stretch everything out. Awesome. Now we're going to a downward facing dog, so just curl your toes under, lift yourself up, and press back into those heels, guys. See if you can get your heels to come down to the floor. Awesome, walk it in. And slow roll to the top, super slow roll to the top. Awesome, we're gonna take a couple of twisties here. So, I want you just to put one hand here and take the other hand behind you and grab that wrist right there and just turn this way. So, you've got one hand back here and this other hand Grab this elbow, if you can do it, or just put it on your back as well. And just turn, breathe. Turn from the torso, so your shoulders, everything turns, not just your head. All right, slowly come back to the middle, switch sides. So hand here, other hand in the back, wherever you want it. Take your chest and shoulders, turn it to the right. Breathe. Another deep breath. And we're coming right back to the middle. Good. Open up everything here. Lace your fingers and press down. Open up. Roll your head forward, side to side. All right, do this stretch, Denise. This is for you. Take your left hand to the right side of your head. Take your ear to your shoulder. Push this arm away from you or grab your back. Now, I want you to take your chin towards your chest. So look at the floor. And that's the big stretch right there. When you turn your chin, reach that other shoulder down and back. So a nice neck and shoulder stretch right there. Make sure you get it in the right spot for you. This might be good, this might be better. Slowly come to the top, switch hands. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull ear to shoulder first, other arm away from you and down, and grab behind. And as you go, turn your chin towards your chest and look down at the floor. Pull a little harder, you're fine. Stretch out the top of your shoulders, your traps in your neck. You can reach out, you can grab behind your body. Take some deep breath. All right, lace your fingers right at the base of your head, right here. Elbows come in and just gently pull your chin down. And then slowly come up, round your upper back, push it forward, roll it side to side. And you can give yourself a hug and pat yourself on the back, because you did great. Roll yourself up, goal post. Thanks for doing this with me today, guys. So the neck stretches we did, the neck and, and shoulder stretches we did, very good for you guys uh, like me that get really tight up here in your traps 
or if you have like, uh, you know, my neck hurts, you know, it's always like right here. Those are great stretches. You can do those every day. Make sure you don't overstretch because then it might make the problem worse or different, right? So stretch it out, count to 15 or something, and then come back up. You guys, thank you for being here today. <laughs> Woo! Remember, next Sunday is what? Yeah, November 1st. What? Where did the time go? Here's another thing. Go vote. If you have not voted, go do it now. Love you guys. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow. Body pump and body combat.